Got my first one. Oh, lost it. I am back at Balboa again um, because yesterday was so good. Uh, caught a bunch of little fish. A uh, little nicer. You know, most of them were just tiny little guys, but some were, a couple were okay. One was okay. I'll, I'll admit it. One was okay, and it was tiny as well, but not the little babies. Uh, and it was just fun because it was exciting top water. You know, the, they were boiling, so it was pretty exciting. Um, so I came here again. It's a little overcast uh, and windy and cold. So I don't know what it's going to be like uh, as far as compared to yesterday. Yesterday was beautiful. It was like 70-something sunny. So uh, we'll see. What I did include in yesterday's video was how I changed up my lures and was effective every single time as it got darker. What I did, I started with the cast master, a tiny little cast master that I never had luck on, and I caught a few that way. And then when they stopped responding, I switched to this little tube bait. Um, it was pearl-colored. Um, which I only had like one of, and that was effective. And then as it started to get dark, I started basically shrinking the profile and also lightening it up. So I went from like a darker pearl color to white, and I caught fish off that. So I kind of went from, you know, the, the big cast master to the little tube bait, and as it got dark, I just kind of like changed the profile, brightened it up, did different things like that to try to entice more bites. Um, when they were aggressive, it was easy to throw the cast master in there. When they got a little less aggressive, I needed something a little subtler, something smaller. And then as it got dark, I switched to something lighter. That's what I meant to say. So anyway, I'm going to go get at it now and see if I can't catch a few more of these uh, little bass and maybe catch something of size. All right. See you in a minute. Well, good news is they're still schooling and going after fish. So... Hopefully we'll catch some more today. Alright. Got my first one. Oh, lost it. Are you allowed to have motorized boats in this pond? That's weird. Oh, got me. Dang, that's the second one I lost. Same size, a little tiny one, but still fun. It's cool catching these little fish on this tiny little rod. I've got like five pound tests, a tiny little reel, a thousand, and a small rod. The problem is, is that there's no backbone to these little rods, so you can't really set the hook. Um, and so I've lost quite a few, even though these are tiny little fish. Um, I've lost quite a few because there's just no way to set the hook. Uh, but it is still fun. And I, once I switched up the color, uh, I've just I've gotten bites back to back now. So I'm just gonna keep trying this one. Did once I had it hooked, I saw the rest of the school going after it. I always got to switch it up, give them something different to look at. That's what I did yesterday, and it was pretty effective. If one bait stopped working, I would switch it, and that one, same, you know, keep switching. Another one just swirled on it. Got swerved on. Oh, just had one go after it.
a little white jig. Yeah, you notice when they start to boil, just cast right in. They're hitting on pretty much anything I throw in. Also, a little uh, cast master. You know, that's been pretty effective too. Tiny little guy. It was pretty good at Balboa again. Uh, caught quite a few, lost a few, and uh, got a few more bites too, and uh, and a few swerved on it. So it was pretty. They're pretty active again, going after tiny little bait at the top of the, the water, the surface. Uh, so I just cast a little jig in, or the cast master, and and kept getting bites. Uh, I switched it up every once in a while, so just to show them something different. And again, it was effective, just like yesterday. So, uh, yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good day.